Hey y'all, Mom's here. here. I'm Kiana. And I'm Kenya. And welcome back to another video on our channel. Yes, yes, yes. If you have not subscribed to our channel already, please do so. Like, yes. What are you waiting on? <laughs> Subscribe, y'all! Yeah. <laughs> and also, turn on that bell so that you'll be notified when Kenya and I upload a new video. Yeah. Okay, so guys, we're gonna go right on into it. We're not going to be before you long, but we are going to share our favorites that we've been using. Okay, so if you all are interested in seeing this, then let's get it. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey! Hey! <laughs> First things first, we are going to start out with our pre-poo, you guys. I have been absolutely loving this pre-poo by The Main Choice. It actually is not a pre-poo, but I use it as that. It is by The Main Choice. It is called Soft As Can Be 3-in-1 Revitalize and Refreshing that stuff is good. Conditioner. Mm -hmm. So you can use this to detangle, you can use it as a conditioner, and you can use it as a, I believe, like a, a co-wash. Yes, yeah. that's right. I do not use this as a leave-in. But I do use it to pre-poo my hair, meaning detangle my hair right before I hop in the shower to wash it. And I absolutely love this for that. My hair does not like Main Choices products, most of them. So that's why I use this as a pre-poo because I know that I'm getting ready to wash it out. Yeah. Okay, so moving right along, something that I have been absolutely loving. Um, it's been one of the essential products that I've added to my regimen and it's really really helped my hair to stay strong and to just become like it's helped to revitalize my hair and it's helped to like um add moisture back into my hair that is the afro g pro vitamin leave-in conditioner this is it right here guys i absolutely love this i feel like it may have like a lot of keratin in it or something because when i tell you guys that my hair has become increasingly strong my hair strands has become increasingly strong as a result of using this, like, I'm not even joking. Um, it says on here that it adds lightweight moisture, improves body and shine, and protects against heat. And it really does. Like, it really does. I blow dry my hair from time to time, and as long as I put this in there, then I don't worry about much breakage at all. But prior to using this, I had a lot of breakage and a lot of damage. So this has really, really, really helped, um, and that's the reason that I've added it to my regimen. So, we're going to continue on with the theme of leave-in conditioners, guys, and I have two of them. One I absolutely love, I picked this up sometime last year, and that is the Beyond the Zone Protein Cocktail. I absolutely love this stuff because Kenya and I are protein sensitive due to the fact that we have low porosity hair. And so it is always very difficult, or has been very difficult for us to find a protein that won't just Break cause our hair off. to snap off. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Well, this has oat protein in it, and that's why I love it. So, the way that I use it is, I'll spray this on my hair as soon as I get out of the shower, or while I'm still in the shower, I'll spray this all throughout my hair, and then I'll follow up with a more moisturizing leave-in conditioner. Right now, for the winter time, that moisturizing leave-in conditioner is none other than the Alicane Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. This is what it looks like right here. This is also known as liquid gold. If you all <laughs> are in the natural hair care community, then you know this is known as liquid gold. It like it is good, <laughs> you guys. I didn't think that a product that was so light would be so moisturizing for my hair. Now you know if you have low porosity hair, then less truly is best, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But Kenya and I like we believed that notion, but we always would still put creams in our hair. Mm -hmm. It would be lighter base creams, don't get me wrong, but we would still put that in our hair and then we would still sometimes find that our hair would break off due to a lack of moisture. Why? Because the products were still too heavy, mm -hmm. you know, sitting on top of our hair strands and not allowing the moisture to uh, fully absorb into our hair after wash day. Right. And so this truly allows the moisture to absorb into your hair. I love this stuff. Some of the ingredients that are in it is aloe leaf, juice or excuse me aloe vera juice um and i love aloe vera juice like my hair loves it yeah silk amino acids um there's wheat germ in here coconut there is coconut well there's satiro alcohol and it's cocoa coconut derived which is very strange to me because my hair doesn't like coconut oil mm. my hair hates coconut oil but for some reason my hair has not reacted negatively to this product so there's also some other 
ingredients in here that are really beneficial for your hair I'll make sure that I'll leave a link to this down below so you all can check it out yeah okay so moving right on along with the deep conditioners leave-in conditioners one that I have been loving guys is by the brand TGIN and it is the green pea super moist leave-in conditioner it's this right here this can be picked up from your local Target guys it's a green tea super moist leave-in conditioner the reason why I love it guys is because when I say that it provides the ultimate moisture in my hair like it truly 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 does it has green tea argan oil avec the vert whatever that is <laughs> and then another type of argan oil in it guys um, it's free from sulfates parabens um, petroleum jelly mineral oil things of that nature now there are certain things that don't work too well for our hair like heavy creams heavy jelly butters butters things of that nature this right here is really creamy and it can be really heavy and so the way that I use this is I water it down I have like a spray bottle I squeeze some of it into a spray bottle yes <laughs> and then I so I'll do half half of this with the leave-in conditioner and then I'll do the other half water distilled water though distilled water and then I shake it up real good I put it on my hair and it works like a charm guys this provides so much moisture it's crazy so it's really helps to keep moisture in my hair and to really lock it in <laughs> all right so speaking of locking in moisture guys something that I've been loving this winter has been the Mayel Organics Mongogo Oil Pomade to oil treatment this is it right here y'all I reintroduced this into my regimen and my hair has been absolutely loving this stuff it I think the reason is because it's not as thick as a butter but it's not as thin as an oil mm -hmm. and so this product is one that you do have to warm up a little bit in order to get this to really sink into your your hair strands mm -hmm. I love it it has almond oil in it it has um, cocoa butter, a little bit of cocoa butter, a little bit down on the ingredient list. There's argan oil in here. And there's some really, really beneficial ingredients in here. And I would advise you all to check this out. This is at Sally's. But after I have sprayed my hair down with this lemongrass leave-in conditioner by Allocane Naturals, then I'll go on top with this mongongo oil. But... I only use this on the ends of my hair and it's crazy y'all because even only using this on the ends my entire hair strands from root to tip still comes out extremely moisturized after my hair has dried and I'm just like what how because the weather here is so dry you guys it is very dry but it's still extremely moisturizing so I feel like out of all of these products that I've mentioned anyway that I've mentioned Y'all, you gotta yeah, get, you have to to. get these two. Yeah, you have to. So, last but not least for myself, it is this product that has been my holy grail. I've actually been using Both this for of quite us, some time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, to finish off my hair care regimen, you know, my wash day routine, you have to make sure that you put some type of mask on your hair. Now, I'm gonna tell you the reason for a mask. The reason for a mask is to add all of the moisture and everything back into your hair that you stripped out of it when you washed your hair. Sometimes deep conditioners are not enough. So in order to add all of the moisture and the good stuff back into your hair, you wanna make sure that you put a mask on it and then let the mask sit on there for the time frame that the jar tells you to. And um, to get the best results, you'll probably wanna sit under like a heated cap or under a heated dryer or something just to make sure that it you know you get all of the nutrients and everything that the mask has so without further ado I've been using the TGIN honey miracle mask this is it that right is here bomb. yes it is amazing so good it can also be picked up at your local Target guys when I tell it's you guys so that this good. makes your hair feel like butter like I'm not even kidding you it gives you so much slip it is ridiculous like my suggestion is to wait to comb out your hair until you have the mask <laughs> until you have the mask on your hair basically what I'm getting at is this provides enough slip for you to be able to comb out your hair one thing that I have incorporated when using this product is I'll put it all over my hair and then I'll maybe run my head up under the shower mm -hmm. just a little bit um, and then distribute it with my fingers even more just to thin the product out a little bit and I think yeah. that that's important 
Again, if you have low porosity hair, if your hair you have fine hair, I think that's really important just to make sure that the product is truly soaking into all of your hair strands. Yeah, and it has raw honey and olive oil in it. So, you know, honey can be used for a lot of different things. Um, it's a humectant. It's a humectant, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why this provides a lot of moisture mm -hmm. to your hair. But again, this can be picked up from your local Target or your Sally's Beauty Supply Store. So guys, man, get it. Get it, y'all. Last but certainly not least for myself is going to be my oil mixture. And this is what I've been using to place on my scalp, you guys, to keep my scalp moisturized. And that is avocado oil and rosemary oil. <laughs> this is what I have right here. I picked this up from my local sprouts. You can also get it at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. But what I do is I'll put this in a, another jar and I'll probably put about halfway um, in the in the not a jar, I'm sorry. It's a little bottle yeah. that has a like nozzle. It's about that big. Yeah, it's about that big, and it has a little nozzle on it. Mm -hmm. And I'll make, put some of the avocado oil in there, and fill it up about halfway. And then I'll probably put about 20 drops of this rosemary mm -hmm. oil in there. Now this is an essential oil. It does help to stimulate hair yeah. growth. Yeah. And also moisturize your hair. Now the avocado oil, I truly, truly love because it has vitamins such as vitamin A and E in here. Mm -hmm. It also helps to soften and moisturize your hair. I absolutely love this stuff because it's not too thin and it's not too thick either. Mm -hmm. I find that this avocado oil does the job. It also helps to strengthen your hair strands. Yeah, it does. So you're really getting everything all in one. The mm -hmm. moisture, the, the strength and the strengthening agents that come from the vitamins that you find in avocado. Yep. So that is it you guys <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe. do please do and right. let us know what are the videos that you love to see from kenya and i mm -hmm. yeah and make sure that you click the bell so that you are notified whenever we post a new video until our next video guys we love you guys and we'll see you then bye, bye.